ABC 7 has obtained the affidavits of the El Paso police officers arrested yesterday. ABC 7's Carrie Mannix went through the documents and joins us live with the details. Carrie. Stephanie, police say this sexual harassment has gone on for years. In June, two female police officers came forward with the allegations. In an affidavit, in one of the affidavits uh, in Surface's case, that, that affidavit indicates the harassment may have started as far back as 2018. A female officer referred to as victim one accused Surface of blackmail, asking for naked pictures of her and pressuring her to have sex with him. Another female officer referred to as victim two says Surface kissed her on the lips as she requested to get out of work early. She also says he asked for pictures of her and as well and the harassment against victim two allegedly continued into her pregnancy when she was five months pregnant. While police would not speak on the specifics of this case, they did say this. There are over 1,100 sworn personnel and over 270 uh, civilian personnel that come to work every single day to serve the community, to keep this community safe, and they're doing some great things out there. The El Paso Police Department's obligation to investigate crimes and protect victims, we take that seriously, whether it's internally or externally. And Sar Sergeant Aiden Chavez is accused of knowing about the sexual harassment and allegedly not doing anything about it, but also allegedly uh, encouraging the victim to give in to advances. Now, coming up on ABC 7 at 6, I will tell you why both officers are still on paid administrative leave. But for now, reporting live from the El Paso Police Department headquarters, I'm Carrie Mannix, ABC 7. All right, Carrie, thank you.